Good morning to all traders and welcome to another Market Insights video. Today is Monday, the 1st of July, a new quarter, a new month, and a new week. We'll have a very, very, very interesting month to, um, to, to go on, okay? And up close uh, to the end, so close to the end, we have AFOMC decision, very interesting one to uh, pay attention to. Obviously, I think that a lot of economic data, um, a lot of developments probably are going to, to have a lot of headlines coming out. Uh, the most important for the week is the G20 meeting, okay? Following the weekend uh, summit in uh, Japan, markets are now um, pricing sort of in um, some good developments around the uh, US and China trade war, and that is because the two counterparts, uh, Trump and G, uh, decided not to impose new tariffs and to buy more agricultural US products, respectively. Uh, now, Mr. Trump also visited the North Korean uh, leader, Kim, and um, this is also adding to um, the good sort of, um, you know, the fresh sentiment around equities and also the US dollar. Both are actually open the month uh, the week uh, with a very good footing and the most likely to continue moving a little bit higher according to um, not the fundamentals only but also the technicals. Of course on the fundamental side of things um, you know this situation reminds us uh, last year's summit as well where we saw um, you know anticipated um, developments, good developments around the US and China trade talks, which have boosted back then, if I remember correct, equities. But then, of course, <laughs> we had another shift in language very, very quickly. So we can expect everything from Mr. Trump and we can expect everything from the markets as well. So uh, going into this uh, week's uh, sort of analysis, uh, of course, it's Monday today, and I want to start with the uh, US uh, index and the, uh, the stocks, the S&P. Uh, before we go ahead, let's have a look what we're expecting today uh, on the economic calendar. We have some, um, I want to say two major PMI figures from European Union countries. I would pay attention to the uh, German data as well, of course, as the Euro area uh, manufacturing PMI. Um, unemployment rate in the Europe as well. And then, of course, the most important um, daily uh, event I would really pay attention to and trade is the ISM manufacturing PMI. And I would also look at what's happening with the employment uh, component of that because don't forget on Friday is the NFP and we should be receiving um, some sort of more signals as to whether we expect a good or a bad NFP. So back on to the charts. I want to chart to start with the S&P 500. Uh, we've talked about this move. We're expecting actually uh, prices to move a little bit higher. I was under the impression where five ended here, but that's not the case now. I feel like we're going to extend most likely above the 3,000 mark. We're going for an all-time uh, high, a new one. And from there, probably, we start looking for uh, prices to move lower. Now, the scenario is that, okay, we are still in a, in a, in a longer term. This is wave two. Okay, and we're probably most likely going for wave three. Now, the thing is, we could see uh, a correction that is going to move wave two below that level. Okay, we're gonna go like maybe around 26 or so for a deeper correction, and then start looking for wave three. Uh, the thing is that in the shorter term, we get some very good signals here, and we're most likely going to see prices just tagging uh, the 3,000 or moving a little bit above and then start correcting. Now, this, of course, uh, is one scenario with wave five, okay, um, three, four, five being here. The other scenario would be that wave five is already ended, which means that we have the one, two, three, four, and five, okay, and we are now going into a correction mode with an A, B, and a C, which is an expanding um, flat, okay? That could be the case. Uh, of course, what uh, remains here for us to decide whether this is the case or not would be um, where exactly prices are going up to. So if we get to around 30, 40, 30, 50, which is also the, uh, 
like 38 ret uh, retracement of wave B, okay, which is most likely uh, the expected range, uh, anywhere between 100 and 138 uh, percent of wave A, we um, the scenario of this being an expanded plant would increase. Okay. Now, whatever the case, we found that in the medium to long term, uh, down in the short term, uh, we've seen this an ABC, as an ABC correction. Then we will have an, another ABC correction, and then of course from here we expect prices uh, to move lower. The thing is, as I said before, we're expecting a throwback, expecting prices probably to move above the 3K. Of course, given uh, trade war narratives support that move because we might hear something coming in the news today or tomorrow or um, you know during the week. Um, despite that, of course, we see some signals here on the RSI and the MACD. So um, don't forget anywhere between 100 and 138 so uh, the, these sort of corrections to, could start anytime soon, okay? Now, on the dollar index, um, we talked about this uh, complex formation. Uh, there were uh, two uh, flat, yes, two flat uh, combination here um, from that moment that we broke outside that level, uh, as we spoke about actually as well last week, we're expecting prices to move lower, okay? This is an ABC correction we are expecting, okay, potentially. So we'll have five ways and uh, correction and then uh, five ways down and then another correction. Thing is, there is also the chance that one, two, three, four, five ended down here, but um, I, I am more leaning towards the possibility that this is uh, the first wave, second wave, third wave is going to be around uh, the uh, 95 level, 95.20 or so, uh, which means, if we go a little bit lower as well, which means uh, we are going to see this uh, playing out as one, two, three, four, five, wave A and ABC, wave B, one, two, three, four, yeah, and then another wave five to the downside. And why I'm expecting it is but because normally more prices, when they break a level like this, like in the long term, normally expect a retest back at this trend line. This is where bears are going to step in if price, of course, get up here to prove, validate that they are uh, under control, okay? And this is where I should be expecting prices to start moving lower after this C wave which is most likely going to turn as an impulse to the upside, around 97 or so. That would also be, of course, at the same time, the uh, Fibonacci 61.10 gold duration of this last uh, move to the downside, the wave three. So um, I want to thank you for watching for another day. I want to remind you, of course, to always visit our blog. It's where we cover the latest news. Uh, we'll publish trading ideas and provide all the necessary tools a trader needs.